Hi children, I am Auntie Mariana and today I am going to read you a story translated by myself into English from the Afrikaans book Stories van Hoop, which means Stories of Hope, written by Lizinda Beer and Kari Watt, illustrated by Jarius Sienekal. Today's story is all about arty TikTok. The alarm clock. Tick tock, tick tock. Beep, beep. Artie gets a huge fright. Oh no, it's morning again. He gives a long, listless sigh. Another day to face. Artie is a blue alarm clock. And he is a part of a large clock and watch family. Dada, the grandfather clock, is the head of Artie's family. Artie admires Dada because he is very impressive. Dada is made from good quality wood and he stands tall and upright in a spot where everyone can see him. Everybody always stands in front of Dada to see the time. Dada is so strong and important, thinks Artie. At every hour, Dada reminds all the people that it is now the next hour. With his deep bass voice, ding dong, ding dong. Everyone wants to be just like Dada. Booty is Artie's adventurous little brother. Booty can do lots of things. He can hold his breath underwater for a very long time. And he travels all over the place on Uncle John's wrist. Wherever Uncle John goes, Booty goes with him. Uncle John is very fond of Booty. He always says if it wasn't for Booty, he would be totally lost. Sissy, on the other hand, is very fast because she is a fitness watch. She doesn't walk, she runs. She is very fit and she always helps Susan to run faster. And then there's Artie TikTok, just a blue alarm clock. Every day Artie wishes he could be more like Dada or Booty or Sissy. Everybody admires Dada. And Booty and Sissy get to see many different places. But Artie just stays in Uncle John's bedroom next to his bed. Uncle John sets Artie's alarm button every night before he goes to sleep. And when Artie beeps him awake in the morning, Uncle John does not look happy at all. Sometimes Uncle John even scolds Artie for waking him up. Other times he just smacks Artie on his head so that his ears start ringing. With a heavy heart, Artie greets every day, hoping it'll pass and wishing he was one of the others. One day, Artie TikTok decides that he is no longer going to make a noise. And the next morning, when wake-up time comes, he remains dead silent, and he keeps on sleeping. Suddenly, the phone starts ringing and ringing and ringing, Uncle John awakes slowly. He was having such a nice dream. Drowsily, he hears the sharp ring of the phone and he jumps out of bed and runs to answer it. Artie listens as Uncle John sheepishly says into the phone, I am so sorry, but my alarm clock did not wake me. Oh dear! Now I'm in trouble again, Artie thinks anxiously. He hears Uncle John telling Aunt Sally, 
We must get that alarm clock fixed. It is important that I wake up on time every morning. I cannot afford to be late for work. I can lose my job. And then, how will we pay the bills? Artie's face breaks into a big smile. And relieved, he thinks, If it wasn't for me and my alarm, Uncle John will be late and... He can lose all that is precious to him. So, even though I have to stay here in the bedroom, I am also important. I have a very special job to do. From that day on, Party TikTok is very happy. Every morning, he beeps loudly with a smile on his face so that Uncle John can wake up on time. The end. Something to ponder. Have you ever felt like Artie? And how can you stop feeling like him? What does Jesus think? We do not need to compare ourselves with others. We can use our own talents for God's kingdom. Romans 12 verse 3 to 8 says, For as we have many members in one body, so let me bring my own body to do its own work. Each one received a special gift to use correctly and happily. Lord, Thank you that I am important for you. Thank you for my own special gift. Please help me to use it for your glory. Amen. This story was translated and read by Mariana Lawrence. The Afrikaans version, Stories van Hoop, can be ordered via email from storiesvanhoop1 at gmail.com or call 071-364-3218.